What's up, my triple love and YouTube friends? Cheers. I done spilt all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with Hollister today, or this evening. It's got a badass 95 XCR 600 sitting here. Came over to do a test fit up with the trash can on the sled to see if it'll fit from an XLT onto an XCR 600. Kind of had the inkling it was gonna fit. Pretty much the same sled, same motor, different carbs. Sounds truly amazing on there. We've already fired it up, we couldn't wait. Hollister threw it on. We fired it up, sounds awesome, but uh, he's got a really impressive lineup of, of Pro X's back here, but that's not why we're here. We love triples, we're here for this thing. Tell us about it, Hollister, what, how did you get it? You said something was yours at one point in time and then you sold it and then you got it back. Yeah, I ended up buying it back last spring. I had it for uh, two years or so, ended up getting in a wreck with it and uh, just went moving on to the next machine. I sold it, stayed in contact with the gentleman that I sold it to. He ended up uh, doing a pretty good job fixing it up, getting her back on the trail. And I asked him, you know, you still got the sled, you want to sell it? And he says, actually, yeah, it's just sitting under a tarp. I said, that's no place for it. We're going to buy her back. So what do you want for it? Bought it back. And uh, this winter, I probably put 200 miles on it, maybe. I remember at one point in time, it was in February, you had messaged, messaged me to see if I could help you with the carbs on it. And I was busier than a freaking one-legged dog in an ass-kicking contest. But oh. you were going to go run the Ditch Bangers Vol with this thing and with, in minus 30 below weather. And I'm like, good luck to you. Yeah. And then I asked you about it. And what was your answer about you running that thing when it was 30 below out? Too damn cold. Yep. <laughs> Don't blame you. I, I wouldn't have done it either. Yeah. And you had some friends out there. You said we're racing. And they said the same thing. They made a few laps. And they were just freaking numb. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, 30 below out weather is not a good time to race your snowmobile. Yeah. Not at all. Well, I say we open up the hood. Got to check out this triple. It's not a greasy one either. I've already looked underneath there. It seemed fairly clean. Hollister takes good care of his stuff. I mean, like I said, all these sleds back here all look gorgeous. This is a nice, gorgeous looking triple. We love our triples. Oh, does that look nice. Now, this is the same trash can off the 12 inch, the extra 12. That's right. I didn't even that think of that. Fits yep. on this eight inch, eight inch suspension. Just yep. fine. So, yep. yeah. So what, that's why we're over here is just to basically figure out if this is going to fit multiple years, multiple sleds. And we had it on what we thought was a '95. We never did look at see what year that thing was. '95, '96 XLT with the extra 12, and it fit on that sled. And we just put it on this '95 XCR with the eight inch suspension on it. And everything lined up. We just had this one little fitment right here, and I know it's because of this weld in here, and that's that's going to be addressed anyways. But that's no big deal. But I see. Uh, we close the hood, fire this thing up. Um, you know, last guy that did this, he seemed like a Honda on a speedo when he was revving the thing up. <laughs> oh, you, you game? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize you could rev a sled up to a hundred miles an hour on a stand without it taking oh, yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds pretty killer, I think. Sounds good, and it had a DG on it, which actually this one's got a little more throat to it. It does. I, yeah, I thought so too. I mean, we fired up the DG, we listened to that. It's we kicked it in the corner, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, that it was a lot more raspier with the DG on because it's got a longer exit pipe off it, and then we stuck the trash can on there, and it's like 
a small block compared to a big block. Yep. The, the sound difference. It's a lot throatier, a lot more of a rumble to it. It sounds killer. And we didn't even rev it up that high when we first fired it up either. So that was the first time you've been hearing it for all of us. And it, I think it sounds awesome. You would think the thing had triple pipes on it. I mean, it really, I, I think it sounds just killer. Well, I don't know. I just, that's why we came here. Officer's a good uh, guy to let us come over, see if trash can would fit in here. Going to thank him enough for it. And I even told him, I says, if it doesn't fit, I might have to store your sled a couple weeks for you to make one fit. And he's like, oh, hell, no problem, man. You can, I know it'll be in good hands over your place with all the triples over there. I'd have a little company because right now this triple is the odd guy out right now. But beautiful sleds. This might be a whole different video to come over and check out all these and go right down through them. Beautiful collection. I love it. But this is the reason we were here. Al, oh, Mike, what do you say? Keep the bush cold. That's it. We're out.